so thank you for joining me once again now I said last time that I didn't do enough on my channel so here's another video oh excuse me right so today something a lot of people don't want to do themselves and they pay people to do it because it is like daunting on doing it so now adding bigger arches to your car so just a universal ABS or fiberglass uh, wider arches um, I've got a pair and it needs to go on the Z I'm also doing it to the MX-5 as well um, so at the moment I've got one on the MX-5 I'm just about to do them on the Z and I'll show you now the reason you do this is for one what people would do is just to make it look good uh, but my reason is well it's because the wheels actually hit the arch um, so I've already uh, rolled the arches and everything but it didn't make much of a difference it, it made them less sharp so when the tyre hits it doesn't shred the tyre but still it's still catching so what we'll, what we'll do we'll cut the arch in segments lift it up and then we'll put the arch on top of that and then um, eventually I'll get spacers which will push the wheel out more and make it flush. Okay, so I'll show you the, um, the process and how to do it. I don't have a sharpie so I'm using duct tape to mark out where I'm going to do it. So I'll show you where we're at and then I'll get cut in. Right, so these are the arches. They are 110 millimeters wide which we'll add on to here. Okay, so this is where I've marked it this here is going to be the bottom of the arch so we can we can cut about as much up to there really um, much up to there and then we'll bend it all out, I don't think I'm going to do as much as that like but because the tyre is there um, it goes all the way around and also one good thing especially on the other side there is rust here on the other side so that's a good reason to get rid of that area uh, gets rid of all rust obviously once I bring it up I'm able to treat all the bare metal um, so it doesn't rust okay so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna start cutting away around here and lifting them up all right so this is what we've got so far I need to finish off going down there but I'm not too bothered too much about that as the incisions are gonna get smaller and smaller Alright, so what we're going to do now, we're going to take some uh, mold grips, I'm going to grab the metal itself, and we've just got to lift up, and it'll bend the metal. Okay, don't worry about the paint coming off because you're not going to see it. It's quite a thick metal, so um, if need be, cut a tiny bit more, but obviously make sure you cut all the way through. Okay, so I'm going to lift them up on each and then I'll show you where we'll go from there alright so there you go <clears throat> I managed to cut around I'm going to treat the bare metal now with anti-rust stuff might need to cut a bit more off there just to level it out a bit um, but yeah treat it and then it's time to line up the arch and drill Right, so I've just put two in just to show you. So now these parts need to match. So this needs to come in, and so does that one. And the way we'll do that is we're going to heat it up. So to make all the incisions and everything, what we've just been through, I'm using a grinder. To make the holes, I'm using uh, a drill, obviously. And um, then bolts are M6. Um, normally you get them in a kit like this. Okay, but these are too small, so I'm using, I think these are 70 millimeters. Okay, I think the ideal would be 80, uh, but 70 it seems to be doing fine. So these are 70 with a washer on and then a nut on the other side. I think it's a 10 mil uh, nut. Okay, so we're going to heat this up now and then try and manipulate it and bend it so it goes closer to the, um, like that like that but without messing all this up because as you move it all this is going to move as well and then if you do it too much you'll end up with a kink in the middle and you don't want that so I'm going to heat it up and try and manipulate it and then uh, I'll drill into that as well alright so I have drilled all the holes 
put all the nuts in with the washers just to make it look a bit better. Um, now, normally I cut a bit off where it, you know, it's showing there slightly, but it actually works really, really well. We heated it up so there's no um, kinks in the plastic at all. As you can see, it's quite smoothed down. Come back from the angle. There you go. Obviously, I need the spacers on, and it will it'll make a big difference. Um, now I've tracked all the the metal underneath. You can't really see it. You can see bits of it, but it's all. Uh, I need to do it again, like. But hopefully, when the wheel's out to about here, I want it to go under the arch, of course. It's. Uh, not going to hit the metal up there, it shouldn't do, because it's quite a big gap. And so yeah, that is how you do it, and obviously once it's completely finished and you're happy, you'd silicon all the way around just to make it watertight so rust doesn't get in. Uh, water doesn't get in and creates rust wherever you've missed. So that's how you do it guys, so remember you, you um, use a grinder to begin with to make the incisions, pull the metal up, cut off any rust you've got, and then you are lining up everything. I'd use a sharpie, um, and you could drill in and everything. Remember, these are triple skin though, uh, so these are 80 mil. Some of, uh, no, sorry, some 70. But one of them, I think it's this one, could do with an 80. Uh, I'll have to take that out and put an 80 in there. Um, if you use a metal drill bit, but um, a number five that is the perfect size so you can screw these in and you don't actually need a nut on the end of them um, so which is what I've done for these but I have also put a nut on the ones what I can but for like this one what isn't in there properly it is still sturdy and it's not going to come out so especially if you silicon it and then it ain't coming off at all so guys that's how you do it uh, any questions drop in the comments and I'll happily answer them um, hope you've enjoyed this video